And the word tonight is UNIVAC. UNIVAC, or the Universal Automatic Computer, was the first commercially produced electronic computer. J. Presper Eckert and John Muckley created a nearly $500,000 machine called ENIAC that required 15,000 feet to warehouse. Because of ENIAC's computer power, it could add 5,000 numbers in one second. Scientists working on the first hydrogen bomb used it in their work. Following that success, Eckert and Mockley started their own business and began working on cutting down the size, cost, and power usage, all while trying to up the performance. When that didn't go as planned, Remington Rand bought their company and provided the resources to make the UNIVAC a reality. By June 1951, Remington Rand dedicated its first 16,000-pound UNIVAC-1 to the U.S. Census Bureau. It's the first electronic computing system to be proven by widespread use. The very next year, the UNIVAC became famous when CBS News used the fifth one ever produced to predict the winner of the 1952 presidential election. The UNIVAC shocked people when it correctly predicted Dwight Eisenhower would win in a landslide soon after the first polls closed. The UNIVAC soon gave way to newer technology, transistor computers that were a lot smaller and used up a lot less power. But in 1951, the idea of a work computer was born. And we have the UNIVAC to thank or blame for the screen-driven culture that dominates our cubicles and classrooms, not to mention our lives. The world's first electronic computer, practical for commercial use. <laughs>